Today, we are going to build a fast external M.2 SSD using this M.2 enclosure from Ugreen with this budget 1TB SSD from Team Group. Let's get started. What is up guys, Hate here. It's been a while and I've been in so many photo shoots and I am experiencing now shortage in file storage. That is why I am building an external SSD storage for my files for transferring and for editing my vlogs. And I decided to make a video about this. And if you are on a tight budget and you are looking for a fast and reliable SSD, this is a good option. Well, at least for me, of course. There is always pros and cons, and one of the pros in building your own external SSD is it's a bit cheaper. Well, not so much compared to the pre-built external SSD like the one that Sandis or Western Digital. By the way, this video is not sponsored by any brands. Just for reference, the SanDisk 1TB Extreme SSD cost around 8,500 Philippine Pesos or more or less 150 to 160 US Dollars compared to what we are building now that just cost around 6,300 Philippine Pesos including the shipping that is around or more or less 110 to 120 US Dollars. So it's not really that much of a difference in price but if you are really on a tight budget and you are planning to upgrade to a much larger storage in the future, well having an enclosure such as this comes in handy because it's really simple to install and swap the M.2 SSD if you want a bigger storage in the future. So those are the advantages. Now for the cons, this SSD drives is not waterproof. But in terms of shockproof, I guess that all M.2 SSDs have a high shock resistance because there are no moving parts in it. It's all ICs or integrated circuit. And when it comes to transfer rates, SSDs are pretty fast. I will not go to the specific, I'm just going to tell you that it's on a gigabyte read and write transfer rates. Like for this one, this enclosure says that it's capable of a 10 gigabytes per second transfer rate. And for the SSDs, this is capable of 1,800 megabytes per second speed and 1,500 megabytes per second write. The actual read and write speed is slower than that, but that was very fast compared to hard disk drives. And that speed is more than enough for me as a content creator and photographer for editing and file transferring purposes. Now let's just do a very very quick unboxing of this. This is really easy and simple. So let's just start with the M.2 enclosure from Ugreen. This is an M.2 NVMe SSD enclosure. And this is a USB 3.2 Gen 2. And theoretically, it supports up to 10 gigabits per second. Actually, it will all depends also on your computer or the ports of your computer. So this is the enclosure. This is the UTD unboxing. Don't usually read the manual, I just assemble, assemble everything. Okay, alright. So just press in this one. Because it says here, push. So just pushing it. Anyway, you cannot insert it on a very, on a different orientation. So here's the enclosure itself. It comes with the case. This is a uh, rubber and this is aluminum. This one. Rubber and aluminum. It comes with two connectors USB Type C to Type C connector. And this one, this is the USB Type C to Type A connector. 
and this one this is the heat sink and the one that you're, we are going to put here I guess well if you don't know what to do you can just look for the manual it comes with the manual itself or instruction how to assemble now we're not treating that and for this one this is the heat sink and a spare a spare a spare stopper that is for the M that just going to get this one this is the heat sink it's pretty white so here's our M.2 this is from team group this is a budget M.2 uh, SSD let me just cut this I will just use a scissor for cutting this this SSD comes with a 5 year warranty so here's the 1 terabyte SSD now we have here the enclosure and the SSD itself so this is very simple to install it's just like you are replacing a battery on a remote this is the enclosure and this is the SSD you see there's a notch you just place the notch there you just align it there Place it here and then you twist the lock just like that. And then you place this one. This is the heat sink for the SSD. So you just put it here. other side and we just stick it on the SSD just like a tape and then for the other side we remove it as well there so it's done now we are just going to place it here there and it's done so if you're going to replace the SSD or you're going to put a bigger storage on it, you just press here at the bottom. It says push. So you just press it. And there, your SSD. Here. Anyway, you cannot press this here because it's it locks. This also comes with an absorbing uh, rubbery feel here. Well, if you want to remove it, you can remove it as well. Just like that. It's uh, it's a sturdy uh, aluminum. It's metal. And this is rubber. I'm just going to place it back again. It's pretty easy and very simple. It's just like you're replacing a battery on a remote. And just like that, now you have a DIY pass SSD drives. As I mentioned earlier, if you wanted to have a pass SSD, you can purchase a much faster M.2 SSD that has a much faster read and write speed. Of course, it will cost more compared to the budget M.2 SSDs. And also, the read and write speed will depend on the computer USB ports as well. So I guess that's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching Hate Photography TV and I hope you got something from this video. Or at least I got to entertain. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe button to see more of my videos about photography and things that can be related to photography. And if you have questions, suggestions, or do you have anything in mind, please let me know in the comments. Once again, my name is Hate and I will see you in the next video.
mabuhay!